Full title, Lord of the Rings, the, uh, the Fellowship of the Ring. Question number nine is for 16,000. Obviously, if you gave me a wrong answer here, you lose 7,000. Uh, you're only guaranteed 1,000 pounds. You can walk away with 8,000. You have no lifelines left. But this, if you gave me the right answer, would double your money to 16,000. It's question number nine of a possible 15. Which of these Middle Eastern countries is made up of islands? Bahrain, Kuwait, Lebanon, Qatar. It's worth £16,000 to As Andrew ponders, Victoria presses D on her keypad. Yes. What do think? I should know it really. My son works out in Dubai. Serious uh, horse racing country there. Not serious. Yeah, yeah the shakes. However, mm. uh, he's not here, no. and Dubai's not one of them. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it's a bit much to lose, yeah? 7,000? Yeah. You got an inkling at all? I would fancy Bahrain. I'm talking about like it's a horse. <laughs> I see a flutter on Bahrain. Yeah. Qatar might be right as well, yeah. I think it's Kuwait or Lebanon. It's worth £16,000. No, I don't think I'll risk it. I think I'll take the eight. Not tempted? No. No. It's too big a gamble. OK, give him a big hand. He goes back safely to the North New Market. £8,000 better off. We'll play down to it. I can tell you... I can tell you Dizzy up there, because you can't hide, Dizzy up there thinks the answer is Qatar. Mm -hmm. What would you have gone for? I'd probably... I'd probably gone Bahrain. If you said Bahrain... Mm -hmm. I'll be giving you 16,000. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The end. Next on Challenge, the show the Americans call Strike It Rich. Three teams of two compete to win cash and big prizes. Avoid the hot spots and strike it lucky. Weekdays at four, an iconic and much-loved quiz is reinvented. Simon Mayo hosts Blockbusters. Give us a clickety click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. I am very concerned about people who have sensitivity as they may also have gum problems that they're not even aware of. Sensodyne sensitivity and gum is really good for that dual action which protects sensitive teeth while also improving your gum health. I recommend Sensodyne sensitivity and gum to my patients because it just works. loves you so much. Every day he showers you with gifts. Warm, yellow gifts. Love is stronger than dog weed. So is plenty. Now 50% longer and with flexi-sized sheets. Choose how much you use. One sheet does plenty. Which would you choose? This afternoon tea with Prosecco? Or this one from Woucher? Woucher. Save now. Live wow. With Labara. One cost you don't have to worry about is EU roaming charges. Because unlike most networks, with Labara, there aren't any. Labara, smarter. This summer, get Plusnet's full fibre from only £24.99 a month and make your broadband fuller, faster, more reliable. And oh, here we go. What a catch. Offer ends 9th of August. Search Plusnet Fibre now. <laughs> That's a plus. On Sky Store, you're in for epic adventures with a blockbuster August. My name's Miles Morales. Miles! Wanna get out of here? I'm just trying to make sure I did this. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Yeah! This rips! Something about you seems different. She got legs! This is not our war. Let them come. 
With over 10,000 movies at your fingertips, you're in for an epic month with Sky Store. Definitely hoping to go below that red line. Pointless Celebrities, weeknights 7 on Challenge. Fifty-eight, you've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. On Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of five thousand pounds. Turn up those muscles, win a skiing holiday in Switzerland. Have a party, pop the corks on a case of champagne. Or dream away your travels with a luxurious sun-drenched holiday in Egypt. All these prizes to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Everybody's all right at the back. How oh, are they at the front? That's Paul, isn't it? Yeah, Paul, yeah. Nice to see you, Paul. Nice to see you too. Where are you from? Harlow. Oh, well, very nice. Harlow Newtown. Harlow Newtown, yeah. Yeah, three roads and 18 roundabouts. <laughs> it's all right. That's what it's like. They've got the bus that goes round, right round, haven't they? It's Manny, is it? That's right. Uh, nice, nice to see you, Manny. Just, uh... Yeah, he's my son, but don't oh, talk about it. Well, he's my go. father, yeah. He's your father, yeah. is he? Well, Manny's that's son. life, you know, you know what I mean? Oh, ready. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, well, what can I say? Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, the girl, <laughs> you don't know, the people they know listen, oh, no. they don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Paul? I, I work for a jewellery company. Oh, dear, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah, it's yes. a Paul the Diamond, are you? Yeah, they could say. I used to have a mate called Nick the Diamond, you know, they give you a dodgy ring, you know, and things like that. We don't deal in dodgy rings. You, you don't know. deal in dodgy rings? No, no. No, we're in that market jewellery business. Oh, that market. I see. Yeah. And, and, uh, and how long have you been married, Manny? You married? 46 years, come this June. What, what other jobs have you done, Manny? I was an office manager in a family business for about 35 years, till it went skint. Yeah, well, that and don't help, does it? Pardon? That don't help, does it? Not at all. No. And then I... What did you do with your life then? Took on another job as an office manager with an engineering firm till I retired about five years ago. Yeah. And somebody told me you, was, uh, you did some... Were you a magistrate? Yes, I was a magistrate. Yeah. And uh, I'm now 70, so no, no longer sit on the bench. Yeah. And uh, I'm still... The and you've got a form... Hey? They closed the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's right in there, are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nice, isn't it, eh? You bring a son up, no, you spend your money respect. on him. You try and make him respectable, no, no, he gets deals with dodgy diamonds yeah. and things like that. What's he tell you? He says, you sit on a park bench. Yeah. I'd like to be a magistrate. I would fancy. <laughs> oh, no, I would. <laughs> I'd be very fair. No, I mean, I mean things like littering, I mean, yeah, I would, I mean, if I was sitting there saying, uh, a bit of paper, hang on. That's right. <laughs> well, because if you ain't one for littering, they won't do it again, will they? <laughs> you never see that happen again. That well, will stop. What do you do with all the bodies? That makes such a. Well, no, it wouldn't be very nice, would it? I see. And you got any hobbies at all, Manny? Not really. I read a lot, and I'm concerned with the community at large. Yeah. So you like just doing things for other people, do you? I do. Yeah. He's got... And uh, what about you, Paul? I like sport. You like all the sports stuff. I like all the sports. Where yeah. are you living at the moment? <laughs> By the Tower of London. Are oh, you in the Docklands, yeah, right? Oh, Bermondsey. one of the lads. Yeah, one of the lads. Bermondsey, you know. Oh, Bermondsey, I was, yeah. well, I was born down here. Yeah, there's a so, plaque up. Is it? Yeah. What's it say? Michael was born here. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Uh, Under the bridge. Under the bridge, oh, yeah. Right, Traitor's so. Gate. Uh, Traitor's Gate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you, yeah. you, you want to have a chance of winning this or something? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could make it very difficult for you, don't we? <laughs> I see. Well, we wish you all the best Thank tonight, you, Paul and Manny. And let's Thank welcome you. them. Have a nice show, please. Thank all right? You. Relax. Enjoy yourself. OK, we've got Janet. Yes. How are you, yes. Janet? Nice to meet you. And Hugh. That's yes. right. And yes. you married the two of you? Yes. Oh, well, I think so. After 54 years. 54 years you've been married, I yes. see. And yes. uh, you've enjoyed, enjoyed yourself together? Well, on Sometimes. and off. <laughs> on and off. <laughs> 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 but that helps, doesn't it? <laughs> it's lovely. And where did you meet? Edinburgh. Yeah, all nice place, yes. And where yeah. are you from originally? I'm from Fife, where I live now. Yeah. In Fife, in Scotland. Fife in Scotland, yeah. In Fairland. Oh, very nice. Small village. I come well, from God's country, Ayrshire. 
God's country. Yeah, yes, uh, Robbie Burns' country. Oh, Robbie Burns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What sort of jobs have you done, Janet? Well, I was a house stable maid, which is upstairs, downstairs. A uh, uh, house stable maid? Yes. I did the housework and waited the tables, you see? Yeah. You, you, you've travelled? Well, I went to North Africa and Italy during the war. Yeah. To begin with. You know. uh -huh. mm. well, well, I stayed at home with the children. You stayed at home with the children? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, w did, did you have your honeymoon when you first got married? No. 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 Couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford it. So, no, you yes. went off into the army? Yes. And then what did you do while you were at home? Looked after the children. I had two children. You had two children while yes. he was away? I was sitting there just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he left me with two children. He left you with two children? <laughs> well, whose were they? <laughs> Who were these two children? We got married in <coughs> 1939. 39 you got married, yes. Ian was born in 1940. Ian was born in 1940. Margaret was born in 1942. 42. And when did you bag her off? <laughs> 1942 uh, when Margaret... Oh, 42. Well, that's yeah. all. That explains it. I just wondered <laughs> in case you were up to anything, Jan. All right. <laughs> that's all right. That's fine. OK, well, nice to meet you, Hugh. Have a lovely evening with us and you, Janet. Well, go on and give a nice round of applause. Enjoy yourself. OK? Hi, hey, girls. Yeah. Hello. Hi, yeah. How are you? Nice to meet you, Maria. Thank you. Hi, Pat. How are you? Yeah. Nice to see you. And what's the relationship? Your friends? Friends, friends yes. Yeah. All right. And yeah. where, do, where do you two meet? In a club, uh, in a club. Pat worked as a cloakroom attendant, and I was just there, just just for the night out. You got on well with each other, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah All right. Do. Okay. Where are you from? What's the accent? Manchester. Oh, it's a Manchester accent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you going out with anybody at the moment? No, no. 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 What about you, Pat? Yes, I am. Oh, you are. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, Colting, are you? Yes. Yeah. What's his name? Tristan. Tristan. Yeah. Oh, is he religious? <laughs> no, I hope not. Oh, he's not born again, Tristan. <laughs> 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 All right, now what jobs you got, Maria? I'm a stewardess. I see. So, I mean, and what do you do, Pat? I work for Manchester City Council as a housing officer. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. You got a flat? A house. <laughs> a house? Have you got a house? I, I was born in a council, council flat. Have you, uh, have oh, you, yeah? Yeah, yeah we had to wait quite a while for ours. <laughs> So how long did you have to wait for your uh, son? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I got mine before I started to work for the council. Oh, you got the house and then you got the job on the council. <laughs> right? Good way around of doing it. And you, you, you um, do you do all that on, on the airline? Mm -hmm. bit? Well, these days now, it's all done on videos. They do that on the screen now, don't they? Well, yeah, most airlines yeah. now do it on the screen. Because uh, I've taught Danny LaRue Airways, couldn't you? <laughs> LaRue Airways. The exits are over here. <laughs> Down there. And down there. <laughs> over here. It's not that bad there's an exit. Anymore. Over here, there's an exit. <laughs> and if you see the mask come down, leave it on for 15 minutes, we'll peel it off. Nice to say. So that's that that's how you do it. You, yeah. So it's forward and forward, turn around. Side, da 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 all right, well, welcome Maria and Pat. Have a nice evening when it's enjoyed. So let's give a nice round of applause. All right. Oh, dear. OK, the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. The winner has a chance to go on to our jackpot final tonight and win anything up to £5,000. You toss the coin earlier on to this side, it's going first. So if you'd like to go to your places, we can start. Let's give a nice round of applause. Let's play the game. Thank you, Paul. Off you go. Janet, you're going to make your way down. Right on up. Go play up there. The first category is... Famous So, how many famous Richards would you like? Three. Right. Yes. For your first Richard. <laughs> <laughs> he was the Lord Mayor of London and a pantomime character. Dick Whittington. It's the, correct. He is the writer of horse racing novels. Dick Francis. And for your third question, he is a fictional comic strip detective played in the movie by Warren Beatty. Dick Tracy. That's right, three moves to your holes. There we go. All right. All right, Paul, first green absolutely front. I don't know why I bothered turning up here. The audience could do it better than me. <laughs> they know the categories, everything, don't they, Paul? Yes. Go on, Paul, see if there's any jewellery in there for you. A video recorded. Do you want to bank it or risk it something on the next screen? Are you going on? 
Conan, okay, Paul, over you come. Strike the screen. A beauty weekend. <laughs> oh. a, Manny, a beauty weekend. No, thanks. <laughs> the tone of the show. Do you want to bake those two or you want to risk there's nothing on the next screen? No, we'll go on. You sure? Yeah. All right, then it's up to you. You going on? All right. Yeah, we've gone. Father and son want to go on. Why don't you go? <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're three in front. OK, you lose those two prizes. Never mind. We go on to the next category, which is nationalities. For you, Hugh, nationalities. Two, three or four? Pass. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then two, please. Two. All right. For your first move, what is the nationality of the present pope? The present pope. What Polish. Is... Polish is right. What was the nationality of the world's first man in space? The world's mm. first man in space. The Russian. That's right, two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> ah. All right, Janet. Thank oh, you. Yeah, there we are. Strike the screen. There you go. A weekend in Paris. Nice prize. Do you want a banquet or risk us having on the next screen? A weekend in Paris. Yeah. Obviously, Hugh's been there. <laughs> All right, strike the screen. Oh, no. A West End Theatre tickets and a weekend in Paris. Good start. <laughs> Go on to the next category. Fruit, veg and flowers for you, Maria. Fruit, veg and flowers. Two, two please. Two. For your first move, which of these is a pepper? I'm going to guess persimmon. It's wrong, I'm afraid. Chance for you, Manny. Which of these is a pepper? Pimento. Uh, which is a flower? Pimpernel. That's right, two moves are yours. OK, all right. Carry on. <laughs> Bad luck. Fortunate for you, Paul. Strike the screen. £200. You want to bank it or risk nothing on the next screen? £200. I'll leave it to you, Daddy. <laughs> you're oh, you're leaving it to Daddy? Go on. Go on. Go, oh, all right, all right. Good gamblers, aren't you? Sure. Go on, strike the screen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the game. All right, we go on to the next category, which is in which country? For you, Hugh, in which country? Two, three or four? Two. Two. In which country is Am Amritsa? India. India. Is correct, good guess. And where is Kathmandu? Peru. Is wrong, I'm afraid. Oh, Maria, sir. you can pick these up. Where is Kathmandu? Bolivia. Bolivia is wrong, I'm afraid. And again, back to you, Manny. You've got a chance to pick another two. It's unbelievable. Where is Kathmandu? Nepal. Nepal is right. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, it's a strange game. It always says, Alan, let's try the screen. Go on, Paul. Try and win something, eh? I'll try. <laughs> Garden furniture. Do you want to bank it? You're going over. Going over. You're going over. All right. OK, strike the screen. A case of champagne and the garden furniture. That's yours. All right. Back to, Luke. Back to you, Hugh. Historical characters. Two, three or four. Historical characters. Two. Two. For your first move, with which characters are the following actresses associated? Elizabeth Taylor. Which character does she play? Cleopatra. And Anna Neagle. Queen Victoria. Two moves are yours. OK, all right. Okay. All right, Janet, strike the screen. See what you got. A hundred pounds. You want to bank it? A hundred pounds. I bank it. What did he say? He, he said he wants to bank it. OK. Sure? Well, come on, oh, if you on, want. Move on, move on. Let her come on. Uh, let her come on, all right, yeah. OK. <laughs> It'll be a row here. <laughs> I'll sort it out for you. <laughs> working for nothing. Huh? What say, you? Working for nothing. Working for nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's a waste of time, isn't it? On that hundred pound, it was safe. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why she moved. <laughs> <laughs> I was with you, Hugh. I was staying. <laughs> Never mind. All right, we'll try and make it up in a minute. Maria? Get nice and relax, and okay. we'll, your character, your uh, category is stars play stars. Two, three, or four? Four, please. Four. Good girl. All right, here you go. Good luck. Who portrayed Charlie Chaplin in the Richard Attenborough film? Robert Downey Jr. Who played Gypsy Rose Lee in Gypsy? Natalie Ward. Who played review star Fanny Bryce on film? Uh, Barbara Streisand. Is right. And who played Gertrude Lawrence in the film Star? Who played Gertrude Lawrence? She appeared in a film called Star. Mary Martin. Oh. Is wrong, I'm afraid. You can take it, Manny. Julie Andrews. Is right, that's it, that's yours, well done. Oh, what about this? Strike the screen, Paul. 
OK. A week in Tenerife. OK, you've got a nice holiday there in Tenerife. You can bank that prize or answer the main strike at Lucky question. We've got to find out what they're going to do in a couple of minutes' time. We'll see you after the break. All right, see you then. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> You'll be good at this one. Hi, I'm Sue Cook. Like a lot of us recently, I've been looking at the cost of living and ways to save money. One of our biggest expenses is planning a funeral. A traditional service with all the formalities involved can cost more than £4,000. Not everyone can afford that. But the good news is that Distinct Cremations offer a simpler alternative for less than half that price. With their plan, you get a fuss-free cremation with no hidden costs or extra bills to pay. They even offer a money-back guarantee. So for a dignified farewell without spending more than you need, call Distinct Cremations for this free guide. You'll be in very good company. To find out more, call Distinct Cremations for a free guide on 0800 047 8552. That's 0800 047 8552. Or visit distinctcremations.co.uk. I love a bit of sun. I love my new lawnmower. I love playing the HUK Weekly Lottery. I love the fact there's no rollovers. Just a thousand prizes every week. I love not having to check my numbers. My prize was delivered automatically. I love that there's a top weekly prize of £2,000. And the chance to win £25,000 four times a year. And I love the price. Just one pound to play. Best of all, play the Age UK Weekly Lottery and you'll be helping older people in need all across the UK. I love knowing I'm helping Age UK be there for people like Sid. It's easy to enter. Just call free on 0800 304 7504 or go online. With no rollovers, you could be one of our 1,000 guaranteed winners every single week. What's not to love? This is your very last chance to win this stunning Yorkshire house. Plus £100,000 to help you settle in. So enter the Omaze Million Pound House Draw by this Sunday at omaze.co.uk. And the best part, you'll be supporting Blood Cancer UK. Remember, for your last chance to win this grand prize worth £2 million, you must enter by this Sunday at omaze.co.uk. <laughs> There's only one place to experience every magical moment. Wicked. Sky Cinema Wizarding World. Available now. Number 13. That's unlucky. Welcome back to part two of Strike It Lucky Now. We've got a very strange situation. Well, not that strange. It's happened very quick because Paul and uh, Manny have shot straight across the top here very quick indeed in the first half. And we've got Pat who hasn't even started down there. You're right, Pat? I'm all right. Fine. And uh, Janet is halfway across there. And Paul and your dad, Manny, there, you've got a chance now. You can answer the question. If you get it wrong, you lose that week in Tenerife. If you get it right, you keep it and you get a chance going to jackpot. What are you going to do? Answer the question. Okay. Answer, answer the question. They're going to answer the question. Good. Well, very best of luck. All right. I think most of the audience would have gone to Tenerife, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. No help from the audience. I'll ask you the question. You can confer if you're not sure about the answer. Then I'll ask you the question again. I must have an answer. Which Australian actor struck it lucky when he had a series of hits with Lethal Weapon films? Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson's right. You're going on to tonight's final. Come down, Paul. There we are. Come on, Janet. Over your gun. Come back to that, Paul. There we are. OK. All right, back. All right, now, let's tell you what you've got to take away with you tonight. Well, Maria and Patricia, you had a bit of bad luck there, Maria, yeah, didn't you? Right. Hey, you went for it on the four <laughs> questions, but we always uh, try and give somebody uh, something, at least. Well, they don't. I do. <laughs> the company, actually, would rather I didn't do this, because it cost them money. <laughs> you know, but they've got enough of it. I think. <laughs> let's see what you got. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Hear the reaction then. 
A CD player and a musical keyboard. All right, there we are. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being great sports. Thanks Thank for joining you. us tonight. You're going to take away the musical keyboard and the CD player. Nice great. to meet you, Maria. All the best Thank and you. all the best for your careers. Thanks. Good night. We'll see you soon. All right. <laughs> and Hugh and Janet, uh, you've won uh, theatre tickets to go anywhere you like in the West End Theatre. We'll arrange for all that for you. And you've got a weekend in Paris as well, OK? So you can have a nice time there. Nice to meet you, Thank Hugh. You. And Janet, you. give my luck to everybody at home. All right. OK, well done. And... Manny and Paul, you've already won garden furniture, a case of champagne, a week in Tenerife, you've got the holiday there. Chance now to win anything up to £5,000. Let's give them all a nice round of applause. Let's play the jackpot. Paul, we won't go Side side there. OK, this is how we play the end game. You move across as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make you shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. Give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. A correct answer, you gain another move. Go for our top money tonight of £5,000, no more than two hotspots are allowed. £4,000, no more than three, and £3,000, no more than four. If you go for our top money and you fail to get right the way across, we'll give you £500 for every successful move you make. They're the rules. It's up to you now. The very best of luck. Your prizes are safe. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up. That's it. They're all gone. 3,000, 4,000 or 5,000 pounds. What do you think they should do? <laughs> <laughs> They're going for the five. There we are. Well done. Over the gun. Yeah, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Well, between you and, and a bit of luck and... Um, Get the questions right and all that. Good Maz luck. Muzzle, Let's right. have a bit of muzzle. <laughs> right. All right, for your first bit of muzzle, for your first £500, top, middle or bottom? What do you want? Top, middle or bottom? <laughs> bottom. 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 The bottom one for the first 500 <laughs> Yes. Yes! Oh. Well done. <laughs> all right. OK. For your second bit of muzzle, top, middle or bottom, for £1,000. What are you going to do? Go bottom again. Bottom again. We're going to go again. again. And want to go down the bottom again? Yes? Oh, it's a question. You've got to get it right, and this will be £1,000, OK? Charlton Heston starred in the film Above the Planet of the Apes. Is that true or false? False. That's right, £1,000. Well done. OK, just come over a little bit more. That's it. OK, for £1,500, top, Which middle, or bottom, where do you want to go? £1,500. Right, top. Hey, top. Going up the top, they're going up the top for £1,500. Oh! <laughs> Another, all right. The opera Carmen is based on excerpts from the life of Carmen Miranda. Is that true or false? False. False is right. Fifteen hundred pounds. Well done. Over you come. All right. You've used no hotspots whatsoever. You got one thousand five hundred pound already. This is for two thousand pound. Is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? Hey, middle. So for two thousand, the middle. Come on, up you come. Yeah! We're on our way! Okay. Hey, hey, ba, da, hey, ba, hey, hey! Great. Uh, Wonderful. Plates. Plates and plates. All right. That's £2,000 you got. No hotspots have gone for 2500 Is it the top, the middle, or the bottom for 2500 What are you going to do? Bottom. The bottom for two and a half thousand. Oh! First hot spot gone, you've still got £2,000, you're halfway mark. This is now for £2,500. We'll allow you one more hot spot, OK? You've got five screens to go. Just come around there a little bit, Manny. That's it. Top, middle or bottom for £2,500. <laughs> Top, middle or bottom for £2,500. Bottom. The bottom one, he wants to stay on the bottom again. Yes! £2,500, hope you come. We we'll still allow you one hot spot for £3,000. Is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? <laughs> top, the middle, or the bottom? <laughs> top. Hey, top. Top. The top for £3,000. He wants to go. Yeah. Go. Oh. Oh. Stand this. <laughs> right. Dame Vera Lynn began her recording career on cylinder disc. Is that true or false? False. False is right. £3,000. <laughs> well. <laughs> You were going to say yes, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God your dad was there when he made them. All right. Okay. 
<laughs> that's three thousand pounds. That's yours. We'll allow you one more hotspot. There's three screens to go. For three and a half thousand pounds, is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? For three five. <laughs> Middle. The middle one for three five. They want to go there. Ooh. Oh, this is doing me in. I can't handle this. All right. The role of Scarlet in Gone with the Wind was originally offered to Dame Flora Robson. Is that true or false? False. False is right. Three and a half thousand pounds is right. Okay. Now, this is the situation we've got. You've got £3,500, whatever happens. There are two screens to go. You've had one hotspot. We'll allow you one more, so you don't need to worry about the last bank of monitors. It's on this one. We can jump straight to £5,000 for the jackpot. Is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? No hotspots, and you must get the question right. For £5,000. For £5,000. They got at the top for the jackpot. Come on! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> it's on this one. That's your hotspot's gone. You can't have a hotspot. The question must be right. You've got three and a half thousand pounds, please. It's one, one of three. Is it the top, the middle, or the bottom for the jackpot? They're going up the top for the jackpot. Come on! Bad luck. Let's give a nice round of applause. Come here. Well done. Went right through. So let's have a look. Let's see where the M1 was. Let's see where they all were. Oh. Well, you'd have actually gone for the middle, and that would have, would have been a question. And, uh, well, who knows? I've got a feeling you would have got it, but never mind. Bad luck. I tell you, it wasn't that much bad luck because you've won uh, garden furniture this evening, a crate of champagne, a week in Tenerife, £3,500 as well. That's not bad? Not OK. Very Thank much. you, Manny. Thanks for being wonderful contestants. That's all we've got time for. Let's see you same time next week. Good night, good night. All right, good night. Thank you. Good night. Stay out of the hot spots and get set to steal if you can, because lucky us, there's more Strike It Lucky next on Challenge. We days are four, Simon Mayo does his best Bob Holness and takes charge of those hexagons for blockbusters. number three. You said cup of tea. That's the top answer. Mecca Bingo Online. Sponsors of Challenge. Sometimes we put off the important things, like helping to provide financial protection for your family if the worst should happen. Welcome to Smart Insurance. You're speaking to Lisa. How may I help you? Hi. Your advert for life insurance says I can arrange cover over the phone with no complicated forms. Yes, that's right. As long as you're a UK resident, aged 18 to 64, you can apply for a benefit amount of £60,000 up to £750,000. Great. You won't need a medical or a blood test, just a few health and lifestyle questions to answer. I just need to get your age and smoker status. I'm 32 and a non-smoker. OK, if you choose a £100,000 benefit amount, it's £6.89 a month. That's affordable and covers our mortgage. At Smart Insurance, we offer a 100% advance for terminal illness and a straightforward claims process. And as a thank you, you'll get back 10% of your first year's premiums. That's the Smart Cashback. Take out a policy and receive your choice of a free £100 gift card. Call 0800 904 7256 or visit smartinsurance.co.uk. Being a private landlord isn't easy. You've done all the right checks, but sometimes life can deal your tenant a bad hand, leaving them unable to pay rent and you worrying everything will fall down like a house of cards. Adding Direct Lines Rent Guaranteed to your new landlord policy is like having an ace up your sleeve, covering you for unpaid rent and legal fees until they move out. That's playing your cards just right. Sounds like magic? Nope, it's £84 for the first year. That's the equivalent of £7 per month. Search Direct Line Landlord Insurance. We're on it. The galaxy still needs its guardians. You're an idiot. I am Groot. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Available now in Sky Store. 
He was called the torso killer. My game with him was to get him to confess. What did you do with the body? Put it near a roof. Arrows, bendy bullies and checkouts. We've the ABC of darts right here. Bullseye, weekdays at five on Challenge. 66. Give us a clickety-click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. On Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £5,000. <laughs> Always arrive on time, win a Gucci watch. Lock the business with a superb designer handbag. Or lose the blues in a welter of white sand. Win a week in Miami. All these prizes to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. <laughs> Good evening, thank you very much, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, what? What? Thank you, what about? What? Lovely. You all right? Nice to see you, Pete. I do. How are you? And Hello. Terry. Hello. Hey, Terry. All right. And Pete, what do you do? I'm a factory worker. A what? A factory, <laughs> a factory <laughs> worker, yeah. And uh, where, where are you from, Pete? Uh, Swanshead, near Boston in Lincolnshire. And are you married, the two of you? We are, yes. All yeah. right, how long have you been married? About a year. About a year? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> another week. Oh, another week. Oh, yeah. you know that, you know that. <laughs> We've um, actually been going out together five years today. Five years today? Five yeah. years today. Yeah, and have you celebrated in any way at all? We're here. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Save you a few bob, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, see, all paid for. Now, what I do you do in a factory? We produce potatoes. Mm. Fat potatoes. <laughs> yes. Why do people find that funny? I don't, I don't, someone's got to do it. Michael. Somebody's got to do someone's the potatoes, do otherwise, no potatoes. And I'm Terry, you work in the same factory? No, it's a different factory. A different factory. And what do you do? <laughs> I grade carrots. <laughs> <laughs> so you're okay on the bench? Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just need some meat. Just need some meat. And, 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 and uh, uh, do you get? I mean, do you get various types of carrots? Oh yes, yeah. Yeah. Get male carrots and female carrots. And... <laughs> Have you had any extraordinary carrots at all? That, yeah. Oh, we get a few funny ones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a few funny ones. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to uh, delve into that because it's, it's a nasty area. I don't like talking about at all. You know. So, what's the best one you've seen? <laughs> Well, you've had some. I mean, do you make comments? Have you, have you got any you've kept? No. No, no. no none at all. Did you both train uh, to be to do the same thing? No. no. Um, by trade, I'm a qualified chef and a qualified baker and confectioner. Baker and a confectioner? Yeah. Uh, but you're doing taters at the moment? Yeah. Until you get back there. And Terry? I train to be a fashion designer. A fashion designer. Mm. And you grow carrots. <laughs> <laughs> It's more interesting. It's more interesting. It well, I'm sure you'll get back to that as soon as you can, and I wish you all the best for that and all the best for Thank your marriage you. as well. Nice Thank to meet you, Pete. Thank you very much. Well, nice to meet you. Right, just relax and enjoy it. Thank you, Jimmy. You're in my group. Hey. Hello, Michael. Mm. How are you, darling? I'm fine, nice darling. How are you? Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. Well, nice to see you. All. What was all that cheer for? Are they? It's for your family and friends. All your family. And friends. Some, I've got some friends from the office as well. Oh, some friends from the office. Yeah. That's nice. And, and uh, where, where's your origin? Where, where are you from? What well, Greek Cypriot from Greek? Cyprus? Well, they're all a big family, isn't it? <laughs> There's just a few of them there. Oh, just a few of them. So my mum, my well, daughter. Well, people at home can't see them. There's about no. forty there in the front. <laughs> yeah, just a few. never had a TV in those days. Hey, we never had a TV in those days. No. <laughs> yeah. and, um, <laughs> you come out with lines like that, I'll crack up, I'll be on the floor. <laughs> right now, let's, let, let's find out a little bit about you. Are you bro what, 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 what brother and sister? Your brother and sister. Yeah. And what, uh, what sort of job do you do, Helen? Well, I do too. I'm a legal secretary mm -hmm. and I also occasionally work in my dad's restaurant. What about you, Jim? I'm a British telecom engineer. I see. All right. Yeah. And have, you, have you got any um, hobbies at all? Yeah, I've started doing that just a few car tricks, so trying to... Be a bit of a car shark, you see. Oh, have you got any on you tonight? Funny enough. Oh, yes. <laughs> Funny enough. I don't know oh. about this. <laughs> have a look at this. <laughs> this is what you're interested in. Pack of cards. Pack All right, Paul cards. Daniels? <laughs> well, what you've got to do, I want to flick the pack. Yeah. And you stick your finger in. That's it. Go on, then. Take that card. Have a look at it. Right. 
I've got it. You ready? Yeah, I've had a look. Can I show anybody else? Yeah, of course, you can show me. I'll turn around. There you go. Got it? Right. <laughs> Put it in the back. All right. I'll spot that guy. <laughs> I'm going to sling it over. <laughs> They've just caught you. Ladies and gentlemen at home, you may have heard a slight laugh there when I said, not from the audience, I must say, when I said, oh, that went wrong, because they told me earlier that this man had a pack of cards, and one of them on the production table, which I'm about to show you, and I'm going to totally embarrass them, <laughs> said to me, when he says, put it anywhere, just fling it away like that, and he'll be stumped. <laughs> but he didn't do that, did he? <laughs> so they've set me up. <laughs> so I'm going to send them over here now. This is the producer, and all these things are very important. <laughs> now, for us to carry on with the show, it would be a lot easier <laughs> if we just unplugged them up and took them away. Thank you. All right. Put that up there. And you won't be needing this, will you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well done. Go on, that's what they told me. Right. Now, you haven't looked at that card. No, I haven't. Okay, this card now. What, put it back. Put it anywhere you want. Right, we'll do it properly now yeah. without them interfering. All right. What we're going to do. Sorry about that. Absolutely. Oh, that's it. Now, you, that's, your card's pretty lost in there, isn't it? It is. Do you want to cut the pack as well? No, go on. What do you want me to? I'll cut the pack to finish off. Oh, look, obviously, right. yes, too. Poor bleep. That's right. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Now, your secret's safe with me. What was your card? The Nine of Spades. You sure? Yes. They wouldn't it be good if this is the Nine of Spades? I won't look at it, I'll just show it to the camera first. Right. <laughs> well, the rest of the pack, all right? Thank you. Well done. All right, nice to meet you. The Quasar Jimmy and Helen. All the best. Good luck. I do apologise about the delay, Gwen, That's but we, we had right. a, a, we had a, yeah. a car trick to yeah, play. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And how are you, my dear? I'm lovely. And whereabouts are you from? I'm from Ipswich. Are you? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. somebody <laughs> just fell off the balcony then. Look at that word. I think it's the executive producer. Yeah. He couldn't believe what we just had. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Donna. Hi, Hi, are you from the same... Mm. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh thank you. So, <laughs> right, um, so... Sorry. Now, Gwen, uh, Ipswich, yes. that's nice, and Ipswich, you're safe. from there as well, yes. and what do you do, Gwen? Oh, well, I'm retired now, but I used to work at Marks and Spencers. I yeah. worked there for 17 years, and ah. that's 17 of the happiest years of my life. Oh, it's a lovely story, isn't it? <laughs> that's lovely. Well, what about you, Donna? Well, I work, I work in a supermarket. You work in a supermarket, yeah? Uh, what else can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Very... <laughs> <laughs> Interest? Is it involved in carrots or anything like that? No. Any I've got dodgy worse carrots? Worse habits than that. You've got worse habits? No. Yeah. I gamble. You gamble, dear? Gold carrots more, aren't they? Gold carrots. You like a bet, dear? Bet. And what do you like? Uh, bingo. Bingo. Ambition. I like bingo, one actually. One ambition. What's your ambition then? Las Vegas. Is that what you Pull want? Pull them one arm bandit. Pull them one arm bandit. Is that, oh <laughs> dear, you got the drug, you're oh, addicted, are you? I've got it, I've got it, yes. Oh, never mind. And Definitely what a, have. What, and do you do anything, any entertainment at all, Donna, apart from bingo and... No, no, not she, really. She do, no. she go to pub. Well, <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> what does she do? <laughs> she like a drink at the pub. <laughs> Does she, does she don't drink the pub? <laughs> she do that boy. Oh, oh, she do that boy, I'll just <laughs> tell her that. I look at her, when I come on, I thought to myself, I bet she like to drink yeah. the pub. Yeah. And I thought to myself, if that's the type that like to drink the pub, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I thought, I bet she likes giving a big pull she on the do. old one out. Yeah. Like that, and a quick swifty up there. Yeah. And then there are four corners I'll or the diagonals. Yeah. And... Yeah. yeah, she know all about that. Yes, yeah. I know, and yeah. does she do any entertaining at all? Yeah, she has all round there. 
there for Christmas and yeah. uh, and uh, birthdays and things. And what's, what, what's, what's going on then? What happens around there then? What, what goes on? <laughs> well, there's plenty of drink in the cupboard for start with, uh, uh, and what uh, she is. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, just, uh, yeah. She gets um, a little, do you like to drink? No, I don't drink. No? So what do but you do I'll to get... I'll tell you the what? truth now, I don't drink. But just before I come in here, one of your ladies said, have a drop of white wine. And I thought, well, give me courage. <laughs> <laughs> and I drank that. That was the first drink I've had. It's the first drink you've had? That's why I got courage. Oh, so, so that your very first drink you've had tonight? Oh, so first drink I've had. I never drink. Yeah, and how do you feel on it? Oh, all right. I feel I'm talking to the world. Right, yeah. so do you do your policeman bit at all? Do you do oh, your entertaining? What's that? No. Yeah, go on. What, what is it, Donna? No, I happened to mention that when we went to Pontons, yeah. I had to do... I had to sit, sit and do the laughing policeman act. Laughing policeman? I am a laughing policeman. How's it going? Well, I didn't, didn't actually sing it. They played it and we had to La. rock to it. Yeah. And start yeah, like to laugh. Ha 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 Good luck to you. Good luck. <laughs> Give a nice round of applause. Let's play the game. Here we go. All right. Well done, everyone. OK, everybody knows how to play the game. You've got to get from one side to the other. First couple across, get a chance to go on to our jackpot. You toss the coin earlier on to your side, it's going first. So if you'd like to go to your places, we can start. Let's give a nice round of applause and encourage everyone. Good luck. 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 Let's play the show then. Okay, the first category is F words for you, Pete. Two, three, or four. <laughs> Two, please. So, which word beginning with the letter F describes the following? A cover or large envelope for loose papers? A folder. Coarse dry food for livestock? Fodder. Two boozy oars. We're off. Okay. <laughs> right, Terry, first thing, absolutely free. What's the hot spots? What is the hot spot? None. <laughs> OK, we don't want them. Strike the screen, Terry. Let's see what your first prize is. Design a handbag. Do you want to bank that or risk having a flat screen? <laughs> oh, Terry, she might want... Uh, sorry, Pete, you might want that. Strike the screen. A fridge freezer and a designer handbag. They're yours. OK. We go on to the next category, which is embarrassing moments for you, Helen. Embarrassing moments. Two, three or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, some of television's better-known hosts you might not always want to meet. This man would come through your keyhole. Lloyd Grossman. Watch out, watch out. This man could be about. Jeremy Beadle. Two moves of yours. OK, all right. All right. Portable TV, a portable TV. Is it? A portable TV. Well, move on. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, strike the screen. A dishwasher and a portable TV. All right. OK. Oh, OK, we go on to the next category now. We're back now with you, uh, Donna. Major historical events. Two, three or four? Two, please. For your first move, what event occurred in 1066? Battle of Hastings. And at which event in 1485 was Richard III defeated? Battle of Boswell. Bos Bosworth. Bosworth, right. OK, I'll take that. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Hey, Gwen. I there you go. All right, Bosworth. my love. Uh, straight the screen. Gucci watch. Oh, nice oh, prize. Oh, you want to bank it? A Gucci watch. You want to bank it? Or Rissa's having a nice prize? Move on. Go. Hey? Move on. You sure? It's a very nice prize, OK? Yeah, I know. It's on the producer's wrist at the moment. <laughs> a magnum of champagne. <laughs> Motorways for you, Peter. Two, three or four? Uh, two, please. Right, for your first, which motorway runs to and from the following places, OK? This one doesn't go anywhere, it just orbits London. M25. And from London to Cambridge? 
What M11. M11 is right, two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> OK, Terry, strike the screen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind, you've not lost anything. That one's out of the way. We go on to the next category, which is cheeses. For you, Helen, cheeses. Two, three or four? Two, please. All right. Which Italian cheese is usually grated or...